Amen, amen. Well, God bless you, everyone. Good afternoon or good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in to our online um, Bible evening service. Though I know it's a little time change, but the, the Lord is always going to be glory. It's always going to have all the honor and glory. And man, you know, just reading through, you know, I found this YouTube channel by a man. I believe his name is, um, I guess, Pastor Michael. Uh, he does a summary from chapter to chapter in Genesis, and I'm on Genesis chapter 5, and I'm learning about the genealogy of the generation of, of Genesis chapter 5, and we're learning about Enoch, oh, we, we, we were reading on Genesis chapter 4, you know, about Cain, Cain murdered Abel, so he was jealous, he was angry, because Abel gave uh, the blood of, of a sacrifice. And, and Cain was a, fa a farmer, but yet God was pleased with Abel, so that's something I'm doing right now. I'm going back to the Bible, to Genesis, to Revelation. I'm going to study uh, every chapter and just to summarize and to grow and learn. And also, guys, um, before we get an announcement and update, I want to welcome um, Adali joining up with the scripture reading. Welcome, Adali. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, so we want to say a very thank you faithfulness for Adali. I know she's been with us since May 7th. Well, we did a great sermon series, I know we did Transformation, and then of course the book of Daniel. So let's go ahead and go into the word of prayer. So we want this service to bless you, and those of you are tuning in as well. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you Jesus to guide our hearts and our steps. Lord, we know that life is a struggle and a lot of challenges, but you, Lord, always guide us to help us through all the tribulations. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for your service. Thank you for my sister, Adali, and her family. And we continue to grow in the scriptures, to grow in you, Lord. And I declare in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Now, let me give you guys a quick a quick calendar update, what we're going to be doing. We're all going to be closing the book of Daniel next week on the last Sunday of July, then on August 5th and August 13th. We're all going to be talking to student athletes. From, from different districts of the school. Then the last two weeks of August, I want to talk about a sermon series called Future Plans. And I know when you step into the new school year, when you're in sixth grade to a senior, I know there are a lot of, you know, obstacles and challenges because you're always going to go through school, you know, with, you know, with homework and classes and teachers and, and new friends and, and, of course, new memories as well. And on September 3rd, the whole month of September, maybe the first two weeks of October, I really want to cover the book of Jonah. You know, something was inspired me about Jonah's story and I was watching the, the discovery of Jonah's life. You guys remember that Jonah was in a boat uh, uh, trying try to get to Neba, but yet Jonah was being disobedient to the Lord and then there was a thunderstorm. And, and the people in the boat, they were afraid, they, they, they blamed Jonah, for, of course, Jonah was thrown out of, of a boat because there's a whale shark. I believe when I studied this, there's a whale shark that swallowed Jonah for three days. So if you guys are interested to learn on September 3rd throughout the October, we're going to cover five uh, sermon series on Jonah's life. And what we're trying to do here at Life Purpose Church, I want my goal is to cover all the books of the Bible. We are going to cover Revelation. We're we going to cover the five books in the, in, the, in the Old Testament, the Minor Prophets, the Gospel, the letters of Paul. And I know right now we're, we're still in book number one, Daniel, as well. So let's go ahead and go to our series as well. So today we're going to go on part two. So we, we, last week, just to summarize, we talked about um, Daniel and King Darius. You know, King Darius, you know, he, he, his heart was transformed. Seeing that when, uh, when they threw Daniel into the lion's pit, I mean that the lion's den, and the lion they did they not they did not touch Daniel. They have no scratches, nothing. But yet King Darius he found favor into Daniel. Now let's go back in the timeline a little bit. Now Daniel kind of mentioned the story. Now we're gonna talk about the three Hebrew boys of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Now did you know Adali? Uh, that's like their original names. See, King Nebuchadnezzar transformed, changed those Hebrew names to Meshach, Treasure, and Abednego because they, 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 they were Hebrew boys. If you go back to Daniel chapter 1 and 2, but, but so they, they, they became top of the government into uh, 
the Babylon Empire under the ruler of King Nebuchadnezzar. Now King Nebuchadnezzar was building a golden statue because they want everybody to, to worship the golden statue. If you guys remember, you guys go back to the scripture that when the orchestra were playing, every knee needed to bow down to the golden statue. So let's go ahead and go into our library as well. So let's go uh, about it. Let's read Daniel chapter 3, verse 1 to 7. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, whose height was sixty cubits and its width of six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Jira, in the province of Babylonian, Babylon, and King Nebuchadnezzar sent word together to gather the set traps, the administrators, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the judges, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. So, that, so the set trap, the administrators, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the judges, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces gathered together for the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a, then a her, herald cried out, cried aloud, to you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at the time you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and palfrey, in symphony with all kinds of music, you shall fall down and worship the gold image that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. So at the time, when all the people heard the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and symphony with all kinds of music, all the people, nations, and languages fell down and worshipped the gold image which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Amen. Well, I'm really impressed with your Bible reading, Adali. You know, I, I know uh, the Bible is really hard to pronunciation with the words that King Nebuchadnezzar, but well, so let's go back to the story. So now, Daniel chapter 3 is the, the printed of a chapter that we see tested. If we go throughout the whole book of Daniel, we see how Daniel was always been tested, and yet the more he was tested, the Lord was faithful to Daniel. But now we go back to the story of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, the three Hebrew boys. Now remember, the three Hebrew boys, now they were, did they know the true God? They know uh, the King of Kings and Lord of the Lord. They worship a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So they're not going to bow down to the statue. It seems like in today's culture, uh, with the technology, with social media, with the the culture, the celebrity, and you know, every, everything influenced so much in our younger generation, those are in, or that were born from 1997, 2012, because there's so much influence. That's what we need to bring back uh, uh, the God, the creator of the universe. So, here are some, a couple of points to do the introduction of the book of Daniel. So, number one, we'll check this out. The world create larger than life images for for me to worship. This is why in Hebrews chapter twelve verse two we set our eyes upon Jesus, the author and finish of our faith, because Jesus said in John chapter sixteen verse thirty three, in this world you have tribulation, but take heart or take courage. I have overcome. The, the world, even she was said in the gospel, the world is going to hate you because of, 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 my, of my name. But have take heart, I have overcome. I am tempted uh, to create a false of myself uh, to worship. But this is dangerous. We need to be wise and be very careful who we allow to influence our life. We can't be somebody because, for example, let's say I want to be like George Lopez or I want to be like Will Smith. No, because in the Bible we need to be more like Jesus. We can't invest our heart to the worship of idols and invest our time because the Bible says, uh, if you guys remember in, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Now, this is why we go back to the story of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego because these, these were Hebrew boys. These boys were brought up and, and with a practical but the biblical principle of knowing that, that, that they live by worshiping the creator of the universe as well. And, and 
check let's go check like number three if i reject the world images people will burn me it just seems like the world today compared to i was growing up in the 90s there's just so much influence there's just so much out there that you can go on youtube you can go on tiktok facebook or instagram you can watch so many different celebrities but it's important that the bible says in psalms 119 one of five that god's word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path see the bible is the only book that the author it, it's present now um let's go to daniel chapter 3 verse 8 to 12. Therefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came forward and accused the Jews. They spoke and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and palmistry, and sings it with all kinds of music, shall fall down and worship the gold image. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jews who have, who have, have a Set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Mechava, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not paid due to regard to you. They do not serve your gods or worship the gold image which you have set up. Now, to give you a history of King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar was the king at the top of all, but he oversees the whole. Uh, empire. This guy was a government. This guy believed that he's the, he's the true God and he should be worshipped. Now imagine and you're being in the shoes of Meshach, Dragon, and Abednego and you see the whole empire of the Babylon Empire. When you see a golden statue in front of you, it's like that, that really tall, maybe like, I believe taller than a palm tree. And, and you, you see the king uh, order you by law to bow down to this golden statue. But remember, the Today's culture, we see a lot of uh, teenagers or a young or young adult are being influenced you know, by the you know uh, by the influence of the world to bow down to worship. Now, I saw a TikTok video, or maybe I saw a video about uh, a woman was in a Bangladesh. She they, they they noticed that Taylor Swift, Beyonce, all these people they have a dark side of, of their music it influenced the, the audience though but yet we need to bring light because light comes to light it can go into the darkness because the, our hearts need to be light for Jesus as well and this is another example here let's go to Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 to 5 Before me, you shall not make for yourself a card of image, any likenesses of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the water underneath the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Now, if you guys remember the story of Moses in Exodus chapter 20, now Moses, if you, if you go back to Exodus chapter 3, Moses was talking to the prophet that I am, and I am. So remember the burning bush was communicating with Moses. See, God chose Moses and Aaron to go to deliver the people of, from, from, from slavery from King Pharaoh, and he set them free. When they got to the, to, to Exodus, uh, to be from chapter 15 to chapter 20, we saw the people from, they, they want to build their own statue. They want to see their own God. And when, when God commanded Moses to read Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20, and remember this, that see, you should have no images, meaning that you know, no no um, statue or anything. So this is, this is what go back to the story of Daniel chapter 3. Let's go ahead and continue um, reading. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in rage and fury, gave the command to the Shadrach, Mechach, and Abednego. So they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, "Is it true, Shadrach, Mechach, and Abednego, that you do not have that you do not serve any gods or worship the golden image I have set up? Now, if you 
If you are ready at the time you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyric, psaltery, and symphony with all kinds of music, and you fall down and worship the image which I have made good. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hand? Amen. You know, I always like that story. This is before Daniel and the lion, but you go back to Daniel chapter 3. No, we, we see the evidence that Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they were caught. Because they were caught, the king of Jericho was furious, and he, he ordered them to, if you don't worship me, you will be cast in a lake of fire. Now, I believe that Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and if you can read back to Daniel chapter 1 or 2, they were, they were Hebrew boys. Because they, 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 they know the Ten Commandments from, from Exodus chapter 20 when Moses presented. So they, they know that the God will, will deliver them. Remember how earlier in Exodus, uh, how God was with Moses when they, de uh, they departed the Red Sea. God was with Moses when, when they freed the Israelites. So yeah, let's, con let's continue reading this sermon series right here. So about defending yourself. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3 verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Now, if you remember in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, if God is for you, who will be against you? That's why, and if uh, Adani read it last, uh, last time, even in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things with Christ that gives me strength. And then we read in Romans 8, 37, and all be things are more than conquered for him, but love us. God is your defender. God will always protect you. Psalm chapter 91 verse 11. For the angels will charge over you and they will protect you. I believe that the, when we go later on in Daniel chapter 3, the angels did protect me, chat treasure, and the medical into the fire. Uh, let's go ahead to number 2. God has the power. Adali say power? Power? Yeah, power to save me. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3, verse 17. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O King. Awesome. Now let's go to number 3. Believe that he will save me. Let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2 to 3. Uh, I know it's right before uh, Jeremiah or Ikayatis. Mm -hmm. I got uh, Isaiah chapter 43. Oh, 40, 43? Yeah, verse 2 to 3. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned nor the flames scorch you. For I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Amen. I would like that chapter. If you guys want to read the whole chapter, Isaiah 43. Remember what Dottie said, when you go through the fire, I'll be with you. I remember this quote, sometimes in life, God will make you go through the fire, but the other time, God will make you fireproof to go through the fire. And I believe that God made me chat treasure and Benico fireproof to go into the fire. And let's go ahead and continue with number four. I announce my loyalty to God. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3, verse 18. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Now let's go to First Peter chapter 1. In 
this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the gen- gen- genuineness of, of your faith, being much more precious than your gold, than perishable fruit, it is tempted by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus. Yes, now let's go back to Daniel chapter 3, verse 19. And then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression of his face changed toward, toward Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they heat the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated. Now this is what very funny, what King Nebuchadnezzar did. Why did he put the fire seven times fold, make a fire hotter? Even if uh, a regular fire will just dim it, I mean to demonstrate the truth that would, uh, well, it, the world will, will, will still burn the human body. Continue. Uh, let's go to Daniel chapter 3, verse 20 to 23. Daniel chapter 3. Yes. Um, yeah, chapter 20. Yes, chapter 3, verse 20, 23. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fury furnace. Now, we always see, now, now we're going to go into our next part of the series, that now we see what happened next after when King the Nebuchadnezzar threw Meshach, Treasure, and Abednego into the fire. Now this what happened that surprised the whole empire, surprised everyone, because somebody said to King Nebuchadnezzar, look, there's a fourth man in the fire. And let's go ahead and continue. Now we're going to talk about going through the fire. Now point number one, God will walk through the fire with me. God will walk through the fire with me. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3, verse 24 to 25. And then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king, look, he answered, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Now, now we get to the point that King Nebuchadnezzar, when he saw the Hebrew boys enter the fire, they saw a fourth perfect. Now, Adali, maybe I want to encourage you and your family to watch the movie from Pure Flip, The Book of Daniel. I don't know, you guys seen that movie? No, not yet. Well, watch that movie. Huh? It's outdated? No, it's, it's on Pure Flip. You can order the DVD oh. on Amazon. It's called the Book of Daniel. Now you can see in that movie that you can see how King Nebuchadnezzar threw Meshach, Treasure, and Abednego in the fire. Don't there was a fourth angel. God will burn up everything trying you down. Now did you know, this is funny, see the, the guards in, in the story, they, they tied up the Hebrew boys with rope. They tied a rope in, in, their, in their arms, and when, when they tossed them into the fire, and the only thing that burned off was the rope. Imagine that in life, that we're always going to have you know, um, temptation, we're always going to have obstacles. That rope is tying up, but God can burn that rope. Because remember, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29, that our God is a consuming fire. And if we go back to Exodus chapter 3, we see the evidence of fire burning the, the bush. We go to Acts chapter 28. We saw how Paul was putting the wood in the fire. So God, uh, the fire of God is, is, a, is a symbol of God's presence. Amen. Now let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 48, verse 10. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. Now, did you guys ever want to know that gold, it can be real, or silver can be real? What they do, they put gold in the fire, and, and they, they burn it, but they, they purify the gold. And how they can notice that gold is real, they can, they can see the reflection 
under faith on gold or silver. That's how they used to do it back in the, you know, in the pawn shop. Now let's go ahead and continue reading on number three. When I trust in the fire, he gives me freedom. He gives me freedom. Let's go to Psalms chapter 66, verse 12. You have caused men to ride over our head. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment. Amen. Good job, Adali. Now let's go ahead and uh, dip into. Hopefully, hopefully, if I don't lose my spot. Okay, number four. When I am going uh, through the fire, God will make sure I am unharmed. And let's go ahead and continue on Daniel chapter 3, verse 26 to 27. Then Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning fury furnace and spoke, saying, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, and Abednego came from the midst of the fire. Amen. I believe that in this generation, there's just so much movement going on. We got the Pride Month in June. We got a lot of movement. I believe that we need a Christianity movement of Jesus saved. I saw one video, maybe two videos. I saw a man. He, he gathered so many people in, in the town square and just, 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 just was shouting in victory that Jesus saved. Jesus saved. And I believe that you now we're not alone. Not me. Or, not not Dali. Now the other believers uh, in the faith that they're victory for Jesus, just like how God can use Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego to transform the heart of King Nebuchadnezzar, just how God used Daniel to transform the heart of King Darius. I believe that God can use you to transform hearts with your, 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 your friends at school, or your friends at work, or feeling lost, or broken, lonely, or hurt. And I believe that God can use you. And let's go ahead and we're, we're almost finished though. So, well, we already read, uh, we already read, oh yeah, um, number five. When I step out of the fire, it will bring unbelievers to God. It will bring unbelievers to God. Let's go to Daniel chapter three. Let's go ahead and read verse 28 to 29. Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him, and they have frustrated the king's word, and yielded their body, that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I come to decree that any people, nation, or language which speaks anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their house shall be made an ash heap, because there is no other god who can deliver like this. Amen. Let's go ahead and go to our, our final point. Point number six. God will reward my faith in heaven. God will reward my faith. Let's go to the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10 to 15. You cut off chapter 3, verse 4. I'm sorry. Um, yes. According to the grace of God which I was given to me, as a wise master built, I have laid this foundation and other built on it. But let each one of you heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can be laid than which than what which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one each one's work will become clear. For the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burnt, he will suffer loss. But he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Amen. I hope you guys were blessed for today's uh, Bible study on Daniel and the fire. We're going to close it next week. 
So we're gonna continue learning about Daniel, um, life story and the book of Daniel. Um, I want to say that very special thank you to our dolly. I hope you learned a little bit uh, today on Daniel chapter three. Did you? Or? I did. I definitely did. I know reading the Bible is a little bit hard, but that's why I use a lot of Bible audio to pronounce the words. <laughs> You know, uh, I want to say thank you for Dolly. I know she's been with me from May 7th, and I know it's going to be a little bit challenging. I know she's going to go back to school later on in August, hopefully by August 5th. Um, I don't know if you're going to be doing a Q&A in person, or you want to do it here, uh, like with me and you. In person? Would, would it be like at church, at your no, church? No, it's going to be here in my living room. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, sent you, like I did send you a video when I was talking to Kira. Well, maybe you can pray about it and talk to your mom. Yes, yes, of course. Awesome. So, um, I want to say thank you guys. I want to have uh, Adali have honor to close in prayer. Join us guys as we close the book of Daniel next week. Okay, yes. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this evening and I thank you for allowing us to know more about your word and more knowledge as we come across the Bible. I just ask that you bless Sharon this evening, and I thank you for his life and everything he does for you, Lord. I give you all the praise and honor, and in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Adali, for your faithfulness. We hope to see you next week. Uh, keep me updated if you want to do the service at 5 p.m., uh, 6 p.m. next month. I hope you do follow your, your video on YouTube, maybe you and your family. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'll let you go. Have a nice evening, and, and I'll see you Sunday next week. You too. Take care. God bless you. I am going to send you the. I am going to send you the, the book of Daniel movie on Pearflix on on what app. Okay. All right. Yes. God bless you. You take care. God bless you. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. You know, it's it's, it's challenging. You know, I'm um, learning. You know, the Bible from chapter to chapter. I know. Um, I'm taking little Bible study from a, a great pastor on YouTube. Right now we're on the book of Genesis. We're going to go into Genesis chapter 5. But well, thank you guys so much for your faithfulness, for tuning in, and so the Lord is good. Well, God bless you, and, and have a wonderful evening. Take care.